started working for uh, Shake Our Romanathon in spring of 2012, and I started out just going to lab meetings and, and listening in on what the group was doing, and then I started doing experiments on spin chains. So in this case, we're looking at spin one-half nuclei, which is like a little dipole magnet. Um, that interacts with the magnetic field and so you can study them using nuclear magnetic resonance. And so I was working on those experiments for a while and did a lot of the experimental component first and stayed on uh, sophomore summer and through my off term in the fall doing the precursor experiments looking at spin chain dynamics, doing a few simulations and then took some time off to go on an FSP and do other research and came back in the fall and Shekhar said, well, now we're interested in studying chaos. And I said, great, I'm in, what, what are we doing? And so it turns out that some theoretical work has been done showing that um, if you apply an extra magnetic field kick to the spin chain system we are studying, you should be able to get quantum chaotic behavior for um, some angles of applying the magnetic field but first we need to test how controllable this kick is uh, with our system. So those were the experiments I was doing. It was really good. I was a little nervous at first. I was initially working with a 12 um, when I started out in the lab very closely and so we would do most of our work just together and talk to Shaker once or twice a week. And then he left to go to grad school. It ended up really just being me and Shaker working on this project. So it was really cool to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him. I sometimes wish that I had uh, somebody in my peer group to ask dumb questions to. So it's a little embarrassing to sometimes to um, you know, a ask stupid questions and then realize, oh, I just asked that to my advisor. Um, but it turned out all right, and it was, I think, really good for my confidence in being able to not be afraid to ask dumb questions. <laughs> Probably technological, because our uh, NMR spectrometer broke. Um, it was showing signs of breaking starting the summer in October, I think. It just stopped working and it was completely broken until December and then it wasn't really working quite right until March and then we broke our probe that you also have to use for NMR spectroscopy. Um, so I wasn't able to get the final data that I used for my thesis until May, which is cutting it a little close, but um, it turned out fine so far, uh, but that was, that was a challenge, just not having the data. Well, I was very grateful for the template on the Wetterhansa Symposium website because I'd never made a poster before of this sort of official type. There was a lot of obsessive tweaking of the borders and so on and making sure everything was, was all right and I stayed up quite late the night before to make sure everything was perfect so I could print it. I was nervous for the presentation because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get past the explanation of the background in order to get to the results. So I just talked as quickly as possible <laughs> for the five minutes and then answered one question and I thought I did okay, but that was clearly I did pretty good. Make sure it's something you're really interested in. I think it would be great if everybody could do an honors thesis, but I think it's something you should do because you're really interested in the subject and you want to get to the bottom of a problem and you know, really explore a particular question. Don't do it just because it looks good on, on your resume because it's a lot of work. So I certainly had a lot of fun with mine, but um, there were times that I planning on going to Cambridge University next year for a master's in physics um, by research and that's a year-long program and then I'm also planning to go to Harvard for the PhD program in physics.
after that, who knows?